everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel. I just really felt like playing with makeup today, so I want to do something like purple and glittery and glam, and I've had this wig in my collection for a while, and I haven't worn it yet on my channel, so I want to do like a Luna Bunny kind of look, and yeah, I really hope you guys enjoy this transformation. If you do, please give it a thumbs up. Comment down below any other looks you want to see from me in the future, anything you want me to do like inspired by, or colour combos, wig combos, whatever, and yeah, subscribe to my channel. I bring out new videos every single Monday, 8pm at Greenwich Mean Time, plus lots of bonuses, lots more content, and I really enjoy getting up in drag. P.S. I'm not actually naked, like, hello. And yeah, I really hope you guys enjoy this transformation, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye! Right, let's get this transformation started, shall we? I'm going to start by first hydrating my skin with this Mario Badescu Rose Water Spray. I just absolutely live for it and then I'm gonna go in and prime using this Becca backlight priming filter it just gives a really good like glow from within gorgeous like highlighted effect under the foundation from there I'm just gonna color correct my beard area just so it doesn't show through and makes me look like a natural fishy woman and then from there I'm just gonna cover it with full pancake face I did just upload a highlight and contour routine on my channel so I will link it in the description box down below and I go a lot more in detail about what I'm doing here but pretty much I'm going in with a full coverage foundation to give me a flawless gorgeous drag base and then going in with a little bit of a highlight shade just to feminize my features bring those features forward and then go in with a full coverage contour shade which adds a little bit of warmth to my skin and makes it match my body bronzer and also just helps kind of like chisel out and make it not look like I have a hamster face. And then once I'm happy with how all the creams are looking on my face, it's time to go in and powder using my Coty Earthland Powder. And then just quickly fill in my brows, since I don't cover them while I do drag since I'm horrific at it, so I just use my boy brow. I really want to play with my single purple shadow, since I recently rearranged all of my single eyeshadows in the Z palettes. So I first just took this gorgeous, like, soft purple shade, and I've been wearing this, like, on a daily basis, like, in or out of drag, just in general boy mode. A light wash this all over the eye is so pretty. I will leave all the shades that I'm using listed like in the description box but I'm pretty much going in with a nice light shade of purple and then a slightly more royal purple and building that kind of cat eye shape that I always seem to do when I do drag. So I'm just basically taking a variety of different purple tones and keep building up to create some depth, some density and kind of a little bit more dimension to the look and also etching out that kind of feline shape. Once I'm happy with kind of the general outline I'm going to go in with this much deeper purple and kind of put this where I'm going to put my winged liner to really make it nice and smoky and basically like a slot look like I normally do. So I'm pretty much just smoking that on the outer V on my eye as well as on that inner kind of brow area and then I'm going to cut out the kind of lid area using my highlight shade. From here I did go in with a little bit of that like rose gold glitter pigment that I got from eBay and it's pretty but it didn't blow me away like it was nice and it's a nice way to use a glitter since it's a lot less messy but it doesn't give me like really good like opacity. I wanted a little bit more. To start off my lower lash line I took those initial shades that I used in my upper crease area and just really smoked out. I wanted like a really ethereal lunar purple over the top kind of smoky glam look. So then I went in with this gorgeous like duochromatic shade and I put that on the kind of the higher points of the eye look. So under my brow bone on the outer edge and it just added like a really pretty sheen like to that area and then I also did pack that over my eyelid just because I wasn't blown away with that rose gold pigment and then it popped on some winged liner. It was not my favourite liner I've ever done, not gonna lie, but I like how it looked overall. To go back to my face I went in and used this Makeup Revolution contour kit and just heavily, heavily, heavily bronze and contoured my face and then took a little bit of the highlight shade just to bring some of that like definition and dimension back to my face just so it wasn't all one brick colour and just made it look a little bit nicer. From here I went in with blush which is like my favourite thing and just heavily packed that all over my cheeks to make it look like a two dollar haul. From there I went in with a highlight that I have on my body which is Hippo I believe from Colourpop and it is so gorgeous. It just gave me that like really ethereal dramatic look that I was really after. I just wanted like a really pretty duochrome purpley look. From there I went in and heavily lined my lips and overdrew them just a touch, you know, I needed a little bit more help with that DSL kind of look. So yeah, from there I then went in with this MAC lipstick and I do pop a gloss on it in the end since I thought it looked a little bit too flat so I do go in it with a gloss afterwards but I pretty much just blend that together using my finger just so it's a lot more seamless. To hydrate my skin and set it all nicely in place and remove that powdery texture, I went in with my rose hip spray and then yeah pop on some lashes pop on that gloss a wig and that is the finished look i really hope you guys enjoyed this video and thank you for watching bye